So this is what we're going to do with um, our Seminoles. Um, I am going to... These are the worst things. Woo! I knew it. Look, Abigail. I knew that was going to happen. It was on the stove. It's real life. It, this, is, this is a part of life. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Can y'all see again? Okay. Oops. Okay. I can't ever get these things open. Like, I can't get it started. And it drives me bonkers. Because it was like the hardest thing ever to start. I guess I'm going to try my knife. If I could just break the seal, it'd be okay. Have you ever had, ooh, had them pop open on you and explode? Okay, so here is our Seminoles. Okay, so you can do this different ways because I've done it trying different ways to test it. Um, you can either lay it down for your bottom, for your crust inside your pan and let it poof up that way, or I gotta stir this and I'm starting to caramelize. Um, you can do it that way. And try it that way and just like drizzle your apple stuff on the top of it um some you know sometimes that's actually really good just cook these and then drizzle um this on top of it kind of let it sit for a minute um and then i like carm you know the, the caramel and everything and that's actually really good actually it doesn't it, it's not bad um but i am going to try uh, a different way i am going to try to stretch out the dough do like a normal stretch of it and obviously it's not going to stretch like perfect because it's like that um and i'm going to do a line on the bottom and i don't think that this is i have to set this over here because i don't have enough room over here to be doing this um i'm going i don't know if you can see my pan but i am going to stretch that out do a line on the bottom because i and you know it's going to poof up so it won't hurt anything and stick that right there. Oh, I'm gonna take some more pieces of it and kind of just break it up. So I know it's kind of like what I just said, but in a different manner, but you'll see, you'll see the other part of what I'm doing actually. Um, I'm just lining the bottom right now because you're gonna go one layer and then you're gonna do this and I'm gonna go ahead and take them off so they can sit. Um, I did not add the cream yet, but I will in a minute, but I need to take it off for a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to add my layer to the bottom. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing from up there. Um, to the bottom. And I'm just going to try to smush this out from and form, from and form the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to add some butter because I do not want, um, I don't want it to burn. I, can't, I still want it to be gooey on the bottom of it, okay? So I have another one here. I'm going to try to place it in the, the pieces like that you can see. I'm just going to fill in the holes, okay? I'm just filling in the holes here. You can, you can smush this however you want. Like if you want to keep working with it and kind of mush it to the side, um, bring it up, um, whatever you want to do, you can do that. Um, any way you want to do your cinnamon rolls is, is the whole purpose of the ooey gooey yummy part of doing an apple crisp with cinnamon rolls. Who doesn't love cinnamon rolls? And of course the butter is going to keep that gooeyness um, going. Okay, so I have this lined on the bottom and I'm just going to take a little bit more. There's some more pieces, some more area that I kind of want to thicken it and I kind of want to bring it up as far as I can um, to kind of form around my apples. 
hopefully it'll poof over like it's supposed to. Hopefully. Okay. It doesn't always work out the way I think it's going to work out, but sometimes it does. But yeah, I guess that's life. Sometimes it works out and then life just changes <laughs> and then it doesn't work out. Okay. So, and my nose is like itching right now. I don't know why. I think it's hot in here. Now it's like dripping. I'm like, ah, oh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I don't know what to do. So, there's two more left. And that is going to go on the top of it. And I hope that I, oops, oh my goodness, the sauce. Um, I hope. I have enough to spread it out. I really hope I do because that's like the whole purpose of it. I might have to do like a dumpling. Have you ever did like dumpling? Do you do like dessert dumpling? Okay, so I'm going to put it there. And over here, I did not add my creamer to this. I was going to add a little bit of creamer to it. A uh, heavy whipping cream. And you can see like it's not like too thick of um, juice. I did not, because I didn't add a lot of sugar in it. Some people just put way too much sugar and brown sugar. I did not. So that's why I said I do drain um, pretty much a majority of that out and I just cook my apples in that. Um, but I do not, I don't want to do too many. It still will crisp when it's doing it, but because of the, um, the cinnamon rolls, obviously it's not going to be in there as long as doing other stuff. So we're gonna drain this. Um, like I said, I'm not going to leave all of this. You can see it's pretty liquid. Pretty liquidly. Liquidly. There's a lot of liquid in it. Yeah. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go over here, step to the side, and I'm gonna drain some, and then we're gonna put it on here. So let me do that, and I'll see you guys in a second. You just drain it real quick um, you don't have to let I still have juice in there you don't have to let it completely drain out unless you want to because you still want it to um, have the sugar to crisp it up um, or however you want to do it on the inside and plus it keeps it a little moist um, so it doesn't burn while, while, while it's in there cooking so okay so I've done that um, so I'm just gonna dump that back in there over there and I'm going to take this you can scoop it in or you can dump it in however you want to do it and I am just dumping it in so I'll have some liquid in there um, you can mess around with how you do your formula and see um, if you like more or not now obviously the butter and the sugar that's been cooked in it and then the, the moisture from the apple is going to still give you moisture um, some people like to add more butter to it, but I think I did plenty of butter and I think there may be plenty of butter in this one. Um, some of my other ones I definitely use a lot. Um, it depends on what type I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to do this and my apples did not take very long at all to cook. And I literally only had them on here like less than 10 minutes. Um, so, okay, so I'm going to take that. You may have to get two cans of cinnamon rolls, and I did not. So I am going to try to stretch each one as much as I can. I am not, I can't pull out a rolling pin. I don't have the room to do it. Um, you could definitely probably take these and take your rolling pin, pop them together, and roll it out, and then just throw it over the top of it. Um, so I may not be able to stretch this as much as I want to, um, to put on top, but I'm doing the best that I can with it. And I'm sure when this poofs up, like the bottom poofs up, it'll probably work out pretty well. Okay. So I'm, I'm kind of setting this kind of mid shift, you know, we have a little square pan here. So it's kind of mid to from side to mid, still a little, um, room and you'll see when it's done you'll see when it's done and i'm gonna take the second one oops and if it falls apart just kind of keep trying to stretch them together and i'm just gonna try to stretch my dough out as much as i can not easy but you do it as far out as you can because they generally poop back i'm gonna take that piece and just stick it wherever okay so obviously it, it's not going to cover the whole thing but they kind of poof out so it won't be too bad and and you got to remember there's some on the bottom of it so this is just more for the top 
you know, just for that top look and when it poofs up, um, you can definitely add more. Like I said, I probably should have got two and I could have covered the whole thing. Um, but obviously I didn't, but you can still do it like this and it still turns out just as good. Okay. So I'm going to take, you know, or some people, you could probably take these and do like bite sizes, like literally take them like you do regular crisp or like the cookies from the other one that I do. Um, and like actually put them in pieces and let them like be inside of the, the crisp itself, which I'm just thinking about that. I'm sure that one's good. And that's definitely one we'll have to do later. Um, okay. So I'm going to take this and put it to the side. I am not putting my drizzle on yet. We are going to save that for last. Um, if you want it in there, you can definitely, excuse me, you can definitely put it in there, but I'm not going to. Okay, so I'm going to pop this in, and when it's done, I'm going to pop it out and show you guys what it looks like, and we're going to dig in and enjoy. So I will see you guys uh, probably about 20 minutes. Bye! So it's done. Can you guys see it? See how it turned out? Okay, so I'll bring it closer in a minute, but I'm going to drizzle and it smells so good and so cinnamony and yummy and I know it's gonna be super duper 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 good because of the cinnamon rolls and it's still a little crunchy on the top like the cinnamon roll okay so I am going to drizzle the icing from the cinnamon roll pack and I melted it so it will drizzle really well. I definitely want to try to hit my cinnamon roll here on the top, my two cinnamon rolls on the top. I definitely want to hit them more because obviously cinnamon rolls are good with it. And then hit the top area just for showmanship, I guess. I don't know. And then on the when you do yours and you do it like how I said you can push it up you'll see the crust like if you do it depending on how you do it but like on this side I have the crust it kind of comes up it just kind of opens you'll see it um so I'm definitely going to hit that cinnamon roll that that's there um hopefully hopefully they're not going to be too hard but it's better tasting than regular crust and I would rather use cinnamon rolls than old nasty stuff but hopefully come out this way. I, I, like I said, you can put them in like normal cinnamon rolls. You can fold it in there. However you want to do it with cinnamon rolls. But it's like apple crisp, apple cinnamon rolls. And, okay. I can't touch this, so I'm going to pull my camera down. And I'm going to show you guys... it looks like and it is super yummy looking okay so I'm gonna readjust you guys and it is still hot obviously I just got it out um, but I am going to try to dig in my phone's ringing okay I'm going to try to dig into it and see um, how it turns out. So here we go. And my pan is hot. Let me get my little thing over here. Okay. So I definitely want to get a piece of cinnamon roll in there, and I definitely want to get. Um, oh, I forgot the best part. Remember, I told you guys add the best part to it. I'm gonna take a bite. I'm gonna take a bite of this. Ooh. Okay, so you can do chocolate or vanilla, and I prefer vanilla with this. So I'm going to open this, and we're gonna do the best part. Now, obviously, you can see it like dripping with the yummy stuff on the bottom. Obviously, I'm not gonna like right now, but okay, ready? That's a big bite. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, let me cut this little smaller piece. I don't want to look like a pig. Okay, and it's probably super hot. All right, apples, cinnamon roll, glaze. Ready?
Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it is so good. <laughs> I'm glad I did that. And I think I did just a right amount of sugar and brown sugar so I didn't overkill it because I've always been taught the overkill and I hated it. And I think I perfected not overkilling how sweet it is so it's not too bad it's sweet but not sweet <laughs> and with the ooey gooey it was ooey gooey on the bottom of that bite um and it's still buttery and yummy um oh my god this is so good i can't wait to do this one again this is a and i got ice cream um but i was like <laughs> we know what ice cream tastes like but and my apple just went in there but um oh my god that is so freaking good. You guys have to try this. Oh my God. I just come out with like the best thing ever. I, I'm sure, I don't know if anybody's ever done it before, but I've never heard of it. It was like my own little ideal. I never seen it on anything. It was just something that come to me and I was like, Ooh, I'm going to try this because I, I, I do something in place of crust because I don't like the crust. I'm like, how am I going to do this? I gotta take another bite. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And that, whoever makes sure the apple crisp, some of the way I've had it, I was like, ugh, it's not apple crisp. That, that's some true good apple stuff right there stuff is great okay so this is what we did on our dessert because I know I haven't done any desserts and you're like why are you done any desserts so I did my dessert I had to do this one first anything that's apple stuff I had to do this one first so I have no clue what I'm gonna come up with next but this one god you gotta try it so just follow along on what I used and try it yourself and I only had this in there for under 20 minutes it was under 20 minutes as soon as the top of the the cinnamon roll browned it was out of there um so don't overcook it because remember you already cooked your apples which took no time on the stove um so don't overcook it you don't want to ruin it so anyways mwah. okay this was good i gotta eat some more in my ice cream oh my god dessert and i'm, I'm not a big dessert person but this is awesome all right guys bye